بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد الكريم وعليه وصحبه وسلم Thank you very much for inviting me. Um, my name is Siddiq, um, not Siddiq. I don't know if there's anybody who does not understand Urdu here. I think everybody does. Everybody. Everybody, everybody does understand Urdu. Everybody in the Urdu. 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 Anyway, I will try to be uh, as inclusive as possible. <laughs> Some of it has to be said in the original language in which it is written. Um, Siddiq. It's in the Quran, right? Mm-hmm. Siddiq is in the Bible, in the Hebrew Bible. Siddiq is the first talent of Islam, right? Siddiq is the friend. He is the Yari Ghan. Siddiq is truth. Siddiq and Sadiq is one who speaks the truth. And in Siddiq, which I don't come up to, is the one who always speaks the truth. Same thing is cousin is a liar. Qazib, one lies, and Qazab, the biggest liar. So these are the antonyms of Qazib. And, so, and who is Siddiq? One who claims that he belongs to the family of Siddiq. I'm not Siddiq. My greatest name is Siddiq. Maybe follower of Siddiq. Inshallah. So, um, why am I here? I'm here because the Prophet, my Prophet, your Prophet, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave us the Quran and in the Quran it says that and this is use of all translations and why should you not fight in the cause of Allah and of those who being weak are guilty and oppressed. Men, women, and children whose cry is, Our Lord, rescue us from this town whose people are oppressors. And raise for us from among the one who will protect and raise for us from among the one who will help. So who will help those who are oppressed? And there are many who are oppressed in this world in many different forms, ways and shapes. But we are here to talk about the oppressed in Kashmir. And we must not lose focus of that. But understand, as was said before, that we speak for humanity. If there is any who speaks for humanity, it is the Prophet of Islam who speaks for humanity, who does not exclude on the basis of race, language, territoriality, or gender. He will enter this great faith that tells us about what is righteous, what is just, what is true and to act upon it. And let it be known that our ancestors and our contemporaries continue to do that across the globe as we speak. Dying for the sake of righteousness, for their rights, and for the liberation of humanity from oppression. That is our tradition. We should not be afraid to speak up in that tradition. And in that tradition, we should invite others following the spirit of Muhammad Iqbal, who was himself a Kashmiri pundit's descendant. And he said, Kafir e Hindi Humay, take Mira Dabushab, Labbe Salatu Guru, Dilme Salatu Guru. So ancestry in Islam is immaterial. He says, my ancestry is from the pundits of Kashmir, but in my heart and on my lips is the root of Salaam. The reason I say this to you is that lest we forget and do not teach our children what we are about. 
And of course, as in every political gathering, we don't find Muslim youth. We do not bring our children. We do not bring our relatives. So you are cut off. You have cut your children off from your tradition. And that tradition is one of righteousness, of standing up for the truth. People have talked about humanity a lot, but Iqbal has summarized it. With Admi and Jesus, what is humanity? Ehtaram <laughs> is the respect and dignity <coughs> one gives to humans. That is the crux of humanity. So when you imprison people in an open jail, as in Gaza, should not never lose sight of that. And now in Kashmir. So this extension of experience by the oppressor is developing. Is how to oppress an entire nation, an entire people. Is this not a human issue? Are we going to divide humanity by nations? Or are we going to divide it by gender? Or are we going to divide it by color or language? When Iqbal was a great critic of the League of Nations, and he said you have created an organization for nations, but what about humans? What about Adam and his children? This is not an organization for the people or the children of Adam. This is about nations that you have created. So, how are we going to educate the youth in this country? Your youth, my youth. <coughs> what is happening in Kashmir? It's a crisis. So we have to work in a crisis mode at this time. The crisis mode at this time requires that we tell people that an entire nation, an entire people have been put under curfew, have become confined, they can't go out to shop, they can't go out to buy things, they can't go out and have food, they can't talk to their relatives, they can't go to the hospital, they can't go to school. What sort of people would do this? What sort of animals would do this? This is the message that we have to tell people in this crisis, that this oppression must be lifted. But we can only do that if we believe in it. If we believe in human rights. If we believe that people should have rights, women should have rights, animals should have rights. If we don't believe in the right of people and animals and living things, then we are just using a, a facade of political rhetoric. And I tell you that if you really, really believe that people should have rights, then start from your own homes and implement the shura that the Quran says, that Muslims are those, and I paraphrase, who decide their matters by mutual consultation. Implement it in your masjids. Implement it in your Muslim schools and your organizations. And implement it on yourself, on ourselves. Only then, when we truly believe and exhibit this behavior, will we feel other people believe us. We can no longer be fooled or be fooled others or create this facade to use it for political purposes. Do you really believe that the women in Kashmir who are being raped as an instrument of war are your sisters, your mothers, and your daughters? Did you? Well, then why are you not in the streets? We saw some people on the street last time, last Sunday in Roche. And somebody told me, my daughter told me here that this was a great turnout in term, by term, by terms of South Asians. Because they never show up and other people are in difficulty, whether it is the Africans, uh, Native Americans, or the Palestinians, or others, they don't show up. So, from that point of view, it was a good gathering. And you're all inspired by Dr. Mr. Rato, who spoke there. So, what are we to do? 
We're in a miserable market. So, first thing is belief, right? We must believe that what is happening is wrong. And that we will do all we can within the limits of law to try and stop it. And yes, governments have changed. Policies have changed and people have taken to the streets. So we must first believe, display that emotion truly, and display that behavior, and change ourselves. This is an opportunity. This is an invitation for self-examination. Why is this happening to us? I'm not blaming the Kashmiris, I'm saying generally, all across the globe, not just Muslims. Why have we become so apathetic to the suffering of others? As long as it doesn't affect us. That requires <coughs> sacrifice, that is what the Quran is saying. So the Quran is using, is telling people, Muslims first of all, that you must act within your abilities, obviously, within the circumstances, you have to use your intelligence as to what is the best methodology. <coughs> right now the challenge is how do you tell others that what is happening in Kashmir is a terrible thing, that none should accept it. No decent human being should ever accept what is happening in Kashmir. And in this particular country you have to tell them of course, there are a lot of bad traditions in this country, but there are some good ones. Good ones that relate to the rights of people. Good ones that relate to freedom of expression and freedom of movement. Good things that relate to civil rights. All those are absent through a military implementation by, quote unquote, the largest democracy in the world. Now, if there is a contradiction, that is one. That the largest, quote-unquote, democracy in the world has created the largest open air, or you could say closed jail, in the world. Can we communicate this to our people here in the Muslim community, but also in the non-Muslim community? Can we as um, organizations, such as the Kashmiri organizations, first of all, write letters to every church and every synagogue in this country to their pastors and tell them without hyperbole, without propaganda, without politics, truthfully, this crisis. Not talk about. It's important for us to understand history. I don't know how many of you have read the history of How many of you have read Iqbal's long poem of, about Kashmir? How many of you actually read the session document signed by the Maharaja of Kashmir on? 27th, 26th, 25th disputed date of October 1947. We must be educated to understand the good, the bad, the indifferent, warts, good things, bad things that have happened in history for ourselves to understand it so we can explain it to our people. But right now, the focus has to be on the rights civil rights, the human rights of the Kashmiri people. We are not saying, we are not advocating war. We are not advocating violence. We are advocating, especially in this country, that we educate people and we mobilize people so that there is pressure built and that we, as the Muslim community, start off by a sort of a this investment of Indian products and companies as we started Palestine and the BDS. 
and we have to start small. So walk down on Devon and make sure that you don't buy anything that is owned by an Indian, unless they put out on the storefront that they support the people of Kashmir in an end to this violence and this curfew and curtailment, abolition of rights. And we should tell those who are Muslims who are selling products that if they will keep those Indian products there, which benefit the BJP and which benefit the RSS, we will boycott them. Pay a little more and go somewhere else. But don't buy it. Why should we not fast for our brothers? Why should we not pray for our brothers? Why should we not rally for them? Only when we implement it in our individual life do we feel the pain. So this is a great opportunity, it's a great invitation for us to raise our khudi as it was. What is Hudi? Is this acute awareness of what is possible for the self and what is possible in the world of goodness to reduce the pain and suffering in this world? It's not about conquest. It is not about controlling other people. It's not about wealth and enjoyment. It is merely about salvation. And so, I invite myself and I invite you to take this opportunity which is very close to home and mobilize your youth, mobilize your families so that they participate. Give them the opportunity to participate. You are harming them if you don't tell them about righteousness, you don't tell them about social action. You don't allow them to participate in these activities. And I would end by just very briefly saying a few things. Uh, in Iqbal's Armuhani Hijaz, which was posthumously published after he died, and I don't know if you have talked about it this time. No, not today. So he wrote two long poems. One was addressed to the Afghans. And the Afghans heard it. And they implemented it. And they destroyed the Soviet Union, and now they're forcing the marriage to be great. I think the Kashmiris are listening to that, one of their own. And now, even in the Palestinian Charter, you find this mention of the works. So, this is a fictitious character that he created, Mehrab Khan Gul, an Afghan. And he created this fictitious character to speak through him. Mullah Zada Zaygham Lulabi Kashmiri. Long title, you know Lulab, right? And, uh, and I'll just read a little bit in Urdu. Pani Tere Chashmo Ka Tadapta Hua Sema Murghan Zahar Tere Fazao Me Hai Beta Ay Wadi Ye Lola Ay Wadi Ye Lola And then this is to the Islamic organizations. Gar Sahibe Hangama Na Ho Mimbaru Mehra If you cannot create the tumult sitting on the Mimbar and Mehra and I go to this Juma every since 5th of August I hear these young people talk about Vazu and Salah. What the hell? Kashmir is burning, people are in jail, women are being raped, and you are telling us about Vazu? And every week it's the same thing, and these are young people who have been trained to recite the Quran and learn it by heart. What do they use? That is what Iqbal says. Gar sahibe hangama na ho mimbaru mehrab. Deen bandai mumin tiriye maut hai ya khwab. That means your religion is either putting you to sleep or you're dead. It's not my words. Eh wadiye lala, eh wadiye lala. Eh saaz te mokuf, nawa hai jigar soz. That music that moves your heart depends upon how 
the strings are strung and they are taut because dile ho agar taar to begar hai mazra if those strings are loose then no music is really going to come out of it ae baat ye lona मौत है एक सख्तर जिसका गुलामी है ना इफ यू आर स्लेव नेशन इफ यू आर स्लेव पीपल इफ यू आर स्लेव मेंटेलिटी इफ यूर एक्शन स्लेव यू आर डेट अनदर नेम फॉर इट इज इज स्लेव मकरो फने ख्वाजगी काश समझता गुलाम आई विश the slave would understand the tricks of the slave owners what does it mean well look modi is there in saudi arabia i think he's been given the highest title he's in iran he's in uae he's here in america and 50 senators are there these are all tricks is there any truth to this any decency to this these are the tricks of quaji that Iqbal is referring to and saying you must understand their tricks how they keep you in line Sharae mulkana mein jiddat e ahkam de that in this system of quasi of rulership oppression of ownership of slaves look at their law Look at their tricks. Surka huwa halal. You can sound the bugle for the dead to rise. Hashar ki lazat haram, but for the judgment, that is not acceptable. That will not be given. That will not be allowed. Hey, ke hulami se hai ruh teri musmahil. Sina e be soz me hu. Fully, selfful. Aaj wo Kashmir hai mahum, wo majboor, wo fakir. Kal jise ahle nazar kehte the, Iran is sabi. Where the intellectuals of the time called it small Iran, and today that Kashmir is enslaved. helpless and powerless and that was 100 years ago still true sinai of lak simti hai aap soz na marde ho tab hota hai jab marhoob hai sultan ho gayi the greatest tragedy a cosmic tragedy is and this is sounds in the entire cosmos this weeping this noise of alarm that when the when the marde haq is the one the truthful person <coughs> in this world becomes a slave it is a cosmic trend <coughs> and uh, but the hope is garam ho jata hai jab mahkoom qaumon ka lahu thar tharata hai jahan e 400 ko rang ho aap hota hai zano tafmin se insaan ka zameer that you stop thinking about probabilities doing and dadas that's when you wake up karta hai har raah ko roshan chaag e arzu every path is lighted by a desire a need to do it wo purane chaag jinko agar si sakti nahi there are torn parts of your clothing there are many in the body politics of muslims ishq sita hai inne 
this or the no tarira without needle and thread love will put it together zurbate zurbate pehan se ho jata hai aakhir paash paash aapniyat ka bute sangeen dil wo aaina ro so in the end with this collective action you destroy that idol that terrible evil idol whose face is really made of glass that you can smash so i'm going to end here the man is standing up there giving me a signal by action not by action but gesture and my back is up nikal kar khan kaahon se ada kar ras mein shabdeer this is more of it and uh, this what he was saying the nikal kar khan ka hon se come out of your mosques you know come out of your chillas come out of your this that and other come out of your long jubbas and those things and do what you say ke fakre khan ka hi hai fakat andu dil ki it's just to please your own heart that you do these maratabas and this chindas and all this it doesn't affect anybody else it affect the world it doesn't change a thing so let me invite myself and invite you to involve your families and yourself first implement the shura in your lives and in your homes invite others write to the religious people of this world who have some yota of any decency left in them write to their pastors write to their rabbis about kashmir Write to them about the crisis and develop long-term policies and strategies to defeat the evil that has come on 15th of August 1947 in the form of Union of India, which is nothing but a manifestation of the program of RSS. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.